This land is not for sale anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Off the market as of two days ago. Let's go. It's Tickville right here, man. Tick Central, man. I ain't playing games with these ticks. Look at that, that is so sexy. Yeah, man, look at this. Beautiful. Cannot believe my mom found this for $5. Has to be the steal of a century. Steal of the century. Look at that, absolutely flawless. Oh, this is nice. I like this little sticker, dude. Kodak needs to step up. The incredibly elusive, hard to find Lomo 800 120 film. I shoot a lot of Lomo uh, 835. Uh, that's why my last probably like half a year in New York City, I kind of not ditched Kodak Porsche 800, but started to add Lomo 800 uh, more to my rotation when I was out shooting in the streets. Really fell in love with it. Um, it's more kind of like a colder, not too cold, but somewhat cold film stock that I just, that complemented the streets of New York really well. And I've been shooting a, a bit here um, in Tennessee, out in, you know, in the forest and whatnot, and uh, it's it's looking real nice. But this is my first time shooting Lomo 800 120. Um, and from what I know, it's incredibly difficult to find, um, but, Thank God for my friend Matt Day, who sent me a few rolls for free. He had two extra rolls and he gifted them to me. So what a freaking friend. It's a little um, Yashica Matt LM. That's from the 1960s. My mother found this for $5 at a thrift store. She saw it and said, you know what? This looks vintage. I think Joe might like this. Sent me a photo of it. And I said, absolutely. And I was pretty confident that it was most likely not working or any kind of, uh, you know, functional state. And so I, I assumed I was just going to use it as a, as a, uh, like a book stopper on a bookshelf or something, or just for like a nice, beautiful piece of, uh, decor. Uh, but then when I got it, it looked in incredible condition. It's like, you know what? I might want to try to send some rolls to it. So I did some test rolls, nothing serious. Actually, I posted a few with some portraits of Maddie. Um, that turned out to be absolute fire. And then that's when I realized like, you know what? I might want to make a little YouTube video on the greatest $5 medium format thrift store purchase of all time. My mother came in clutch. Uh, and I hope that you guys have just as much luck finding something like this. Cause this is just, I can't even also, I don't really like six by six format. That's not something I, I don't know, was ever drawn to, but. I don't know, man, this is just, there's something about six by six format that the restrictions actually give me more freedom artistically that I kind of never thought was possible. Um, that may not make sense at all, but um, through the few rolls that I've shot, I've just enjoyed making photos with it more than I was ever expecting. Cause I'm a pretty, you know, big on just like six by seven, obviously 35 millimeter is my go-to, but there's something very, pure about this. It's kind of, it matches my whole, the last few months of my life, moving to Nashville, leaving the, 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 the busy, you know, bustling streets of New York City to a much more slowed down Southern lifestyle. I think this kind of matches this new pace and this new type of work that I'm trying to make. So I don't know, man, I can't believe she found it for five bucks. Let's see what we can get. I've always wanted a nice photo of my, my car. That's the best thing about leaving New York City is I get my car back. This has been just chilling in my in-laws for the last three years. Y'all, this is literally the first photo I am taking on my property. This is an 80 millimeter, which is not a normal focal length that I enjoy shooting, especially for medium format. I usually like the uh, 65 or something a little bit wider, but it's 
kind of cute and I'm liking it. So we'll see what happens. That's where the house is gonna be built. It's probably the flattest part of the land and the most open part. And that should start in about a month or six weeks. Back here in the South, brother, it is just so hot and humid. I did not wear the right outfit. It's freaking summer, it's so stupid. I don't know why I wore a damn long, long sleeve shirt, black jeans. This is a church Maddie grew up going to. They have this drive-in sign, 125 F11. So I'm gonna go 225 F8. Sounds about right. Oh my gosh, that one's it. That one is it. Man, we are not in New York anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Not in New York. If you are a film photographer and you do not shoot classic cars, are you actually a film photographer? Oh, I, I thought of a great shot just now. Oh, with that street sign in the back. This is it, three, two, one. Also the beautiful thing about shooting square format, is I get two extra frames. I'm pretty sure it holds 12 frames uh, instead of 10. So that's kind of nice. Makes me feel better shooting square than only getting 10 frames for a six, seven. Oof, brutal. Ooh, self portrait on the chrome. Oh my days. If I can pull this off, this is gonna be tricky. here in the south all you gotta do is just wave to people that doesn't happen in new york nobody waves in new york oh i feel so much better jeez all right ladies and gentlemen just finished that first roll it's always weird loading film on a new camera that you're not familiar with because with the leica and the mamiya 7 and rz i've kind of got my rhythm the one thing that sucks about shooting a new camera. I'm way slower, but living that slow life out here in the South. Look at that little reminder, just so no dummy tries to load 35 millimeter film. Film is in the details. Another thing about this camera. For the negatives that I'm getting, shooting medium format and the size of the negative and the detail within the, the negative and the photograph. This is like by far the smallest medium format camera I've ever had. I thought the Mimiya 7.2 was probably the most compact, portable. Obviously you're on a 6.7 negative, this is 6.6, but this has to be probably one of the most enjoyable medium format picture making devices I've ever used by far. Like look at, and it's sexy to look at. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Gosh, it's so fun making photographs with this. comp here what's the comp where are you at where are you at come on i think i want that tree yep that's it there she is Oh, this shot is gonna be it. Holy crap.
that photo doesn't turn out, I quit. Now that I'm done with Lomo, I think I'm gonna load up some Portra. If you're looking for a dope date spot, 1892, that restaurant right there, it's fire. I've never been, but I really like this. Having here the cross. See if that works. Oh, is it getting stuck again like last time? I shot all the Lomo, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I loaded up a uh, a roll of Porsche 400, but I'm gonna push it to stop to 800 so I can keep shooting 800 speed. Shooting it at a fiftieth of a second at 5.6. This has no spot to put a shutter release cable. I just guess, you know, maybe it's the design of the camera or maybe they didn't have them, but there's nowhere to do that. So I have to shoot on a tripod very still. Oh, look how beautiful that is. That light hitting through the water. I'm excited to see what the Lomo 800 looks like. Um, I feel pretty confident with the exposures and uh, knowing how Lomo 800 is on 35 millimeter. I, that's why I chose this area, very green. I love the way that Lomo 800 looks uh, with just kind of green earthy tones. And so I'm really excited to see what that looks like. This camera I've had, this is the first time I had mechanical issues. I shot probably three rolls prior to this video being made. Um, had no issues, obviously like clockwork, naturally it's gonna happen. When I film a video, the first video in five freaking months, the camera decides it wants to have an issue when I'm filming this video. So, but no, overall, if you find a deal on this, again, I no one's gonna beat me. You're not gonna find a better deal than $5. I really feel like if you guys find this camera in a thrift store or a good price on eBay, I don't even know what they go for. Maybe a hundred, maybe 150, 200. I have no idea. Somebody probably in the comments are gonna know about that a lot better than I will. Anyways, guys, obviously you notice potentially the increase of production on this video. Um, moving here uh, three months ago, four months ago, I reconnected with a good buddy of mine who was filming, uh, Daniel Chaney, and I'm just super excited about his capability of storytelling through film and through video. He's also a very talented photographer. So I'll link him in uh, the bio in the description below, uh, but he will be making an appearance on the channel very soon. So um, yeah, guys, until next time, hopefully this will be uh, the start of a very new and exciting chapter as I move and relocate to the beautiful uh, Nashville, Tennessee. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and uh, talk to y'all later. Cheers.